Okay, in this lesson, I want to show you how I um, create a, t a turntable that goes from a white sculpt into the coloured, color, full, fully coloured version, um, exported as a turntable from a turntable from um, ZBrush. So I've created my two files. Obviously, I've got um, After Effects opened here. My two files are in here, and here's my exported file from. ZBrush, this is the first one. So this is just a quick time movie. So that's nice. Okay, and now I exported a colored version. And I just want to import these into After Effects. So let's open After Effects. What I'm going to do is go to File, go to Import, and go to File. I'm going to locate my two files here. I'm going to select them both and I'm just going to click open. That'll add them in here. I've got my sculpt and my color. So what I need to do is I need to open up my render box, not my render box, my um, project box down here. And I need to just drag my dog sculpt one into this layer. Now I know the time scale on these is exactly the same uh, on the color and the sculpt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double it because I want to put the colored one at the end of this and do a fade in. So I'm going to go to composition, well, click on the canvas, composition settings, and in here I'm just going to double it. It's 10 seconds at the moment, so I'll just put that as 20, and then I hit enter, and it's given me the, the extra room there. So now I'm going to grab the colored one, and I'm going to drag it on top and then I'm just going to click in here and I'm going to drag this along until we're right at the end. So now so now I've dropped this in at the end and if I use this bar you can see it will reduce up and down give me a, a view of the whole thing um, or you can use down here and this should turn nicely and when it hits this end part it will flick so that's what we want okay so how do we do the blend well what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this dog sculpt here and I'm going to drag it so I'll drag this top one to here so that if I turn the eye off here you'll see we've got the white one behind it so you have to bring it one frame forwards there just to get it to line up that's good so what I want to do is basically take the opacity of this top layer, which is the colored one, and have it at zero and then bring it up to 100% after like two seconds or something. So it's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to get this on the beginning frame here. I'm going to open up the little tab for the dog color. And I'm going to check this little stopwatch opacity. I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to drag this down to zero. And if you look at the screen, you can see that he's the opacity's changing. Then after sort of it gets to about there, I'm going to increase the opacity up. And you'll see it's put these little dots uh, which you can move. And that shows me that it's worked. And he'll spin round to there. Okay, so that's done. So close that up and now I'm just going to make the movie so I go to composition make movie or control M double click the lossless I'm going to make this a quick time movie quick time um, it's gone in there I'm going to set the location of it I'm going to put it on my desktop save there and I'm going to render it's quite a small file so it will almost render at real time if you've got a massive file, obviously it takes a lot longer. It gives you a, 
a time scale along here as well so this is how much of it is done okay so when it's finished it will kind of beep like that now you can save this project file off if you want to as an AEP file which is an After Effects project and I call it dog turntable and I'll just click save okay now I can exit out of this because it's been saved and you'll see on my desktop my dog sculpt so let's open him up and play him so he's doing his first turn of course when he comes back he should then go colored in about two seconds so about now there we go and my colored version if you wanted this to continually turn you might want to put add frames on the end and do a blend back to the sculpt and then it will repeat obviously it will just loop around and just repeat on itself but that's okay I might have done with being able to adjust the colors in fact I'll show you that the colors aren't really really that vibrant so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another render so I'm gonna open it up again and I'm just gonna saturate the colors a bit more in this layer so I'm gonna go to my dog layer and I'm gonna go to effects and I'm gonna go to color correction and I think the first thing I'll do is just check my levels scoop them down a little bit there that's a bit better and now I'm gonna go down to my color correction again and I'm gonna hit the hue and saturation and so my master saturation let's just boost him up a bit of course you can go right up but that's much better bit more colorful and you can of course you can play around with the hue as well if you wanted to get him a bit more of that color that blue I think that looks nice okay it's definitely a lot more vibrant um, and so we repeat the process so I'm gonna go to make movie come down here it will revert back to an AVI format so we don't want that and I'll render this out now because I've already got dog sculpt on my desktop it will probably name it dog, dog sculpt uh, zero one or something And if you want to compress the file even more, you might want to save it in WMV format or something like that. Um, I'll save this out. And, oh, I think it's uh, it's saved on top of it. Sometimes it puts a zero one in. There we go, a lot more vibrant so there we go a quick course just to show you on how I sort of do my turntables another sort of after effects uh, quickie okay I hope you enjoyed it and um, see you in the next lesson